Indiana lawmakers head back to work on Monday. During the session, they will consider whether or not to pass legislation to try to improve literacy rates. Data last fall showed one in five students is unable to read by the end of the third grade. News 10's Jackson Plank talked with some local lawmakers about addressing this issue. Jackson. Indiana education officials say literacy rates have been dropping for the past decade, even before the pandemic. While enrollment among third graders has dropped, the number of students not passing iRead has more than doubled. According to the Department of Education, as reading scores have decreased, retention rates have also decreased. Over 96% of students who did not pass iRead were advanced to the fourth grade. It's caught the attention of many, like Republican, State Senator Greg Good. And we know uh, all too often that uh, uh, by the fourth grade, uh, our our uh, young citizens are reading to learn, and um, one's not going to be able to uh, re be able to read to learn if one can't uh, be able to master third grade reading. However, Good states he is undecided if he would support legislation retaining third graders who do not pass the I read. Well, I don't know yet. I'd want to look a little uh, closer at what the actual language states. I, I want to hear from parents. I want to hear from teachers and school administrators. For Democratic State Representative Tanya Path, she says there should be some type of measurement. However, she says that the legislature should trust teachers. I would say that, you know, treat us like professionals. Every third grade teacher knows if their, kid, if their students need to go on to fourth grade or not. Again, as teachers, we know when kids are falling behind. So give us the resources to catch these kids up. Right now, no legislation has been filed. However, both of Indiana's major political parties are set to officially unveil their slate of priorities next week. Coming up at 6, I'll tell you what Path and Good said about possible absenteeism legislation. Reporting in the studio, Jack Plank, News 10.